Well, Brent and Sarah, invest in our students. That's the message to city leaders as the Hartford City Council prepares to finalize a budget that, if passed, could eliminate almost 400 positions uh, from their staffing. It's, it follows a year where the district has already faced staffing shortages to begin with. Do we think it's okay to borrow from people's pensions? Dozens of people rallied outside of Hartford's Weaver High School Tuesday night before city leaders heard public comment on the city's $600 million budget for the next fiscal year. The budget would result in cuts of more than 380 positions district-wide. City councilors heard public testimony from teachers and students, which at times got emotional. I seen the power that teachers and programming can make in a student life. However, next year's budget will take many heroes and many programs from our school, and it will be the student who continues to suffer the consequences of adult inaction. Community members calling on city leaders to fully fund Hartford Public Schools, demanding the city put pressure on state leaders for more funds, as the state has a projected $250 million budget surplus. Educators say the district has been underfunded for so long, it's now at a critical point. We already have staff that feel overworked, that feel underappreciated, that we know are underpaid. We do not have competitive salaries in Hartford. We're the lowest paid district in the region. And now we're cutting all these positions, which is only going to make more work for the remaining staff. Something Hartford Mayor Arudin Aralumpalam acknowledges. This is a funding solution for the fiscal year 25, um, but we hope to have more announcements coming up in the weeks ahead on a long-term solution for our schools going forward. And this is, this is a fight that we will be a lot more active in um, and and insert our presence a lot more in because I think we all have to be at the table in coming up with the solution to our schools uh, strategy that that builds stronger and healthier schools in the future. Last week, the city announced an additional ten and a half million dollars would be added to the city's education budget, but advocates say that's not enough. We are still facing thirty million dollars in cuts. Our schools are already underfunded, understaffed, and undermaintained. The last thing our kids need and the last thing our city needs is to be abandoned at this critical time. Now, the council did not vote on a budget tonight, and they are running up against the clock to make any additional changes. The city council has until May 31st to pass a budget in order to keep city services open starting June 1st. Reporting live in Hartford, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.